Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Crystal Palace Football Manager Save. Today we have the round of, well, the second knockout round in the Euro Cup 2 and also a game against Huddersfield. But let's see how we've done off camera. Obviously, last time we met was the beautiful 2 2 draw, winning on penalties for the Carabao Cup in the final. And then we faced OGC Nice in the first leg of the knockout stages. And we drew 2 2. Two away goals, and I believe away goals do count. But obviously, we had Xhaka scored an absolute banger for them, to be fair to him. And then Brian was still on flames. He scored again for us. And then they they went uh, went ahead with another former Premier League player with Calvert Lewin. Decent goal, but then Klaas and Mario comes along. He clutches the 2 2 draw. I was, at the time, I was quite happy with the 2 2 draw just because I, I knew that that's what we needed just to try and get more away goals. Then we had 20th place Bournemouth and we drew 1-1, which was very, very disappointing. So Lanky bag for them make it, uh, in the 68th minute, making it 1. We just dominated this game as well. We should have won it. And Brian also did score. I should have played a weaker side, really. Just get ready for this game. But at least Brian keeping his goal scoring record up. But let's get into the lineup anyway of the round, of the knock, second knockout round in leg two. I am going for a weaker side this game. I'm going to have Livakovic in goal. Samare, who hasn't, pl who's not played nearly enough this year for me. Really, he should, he's only played five five starts, three off the bench. He's played all right as well, but he's not played nearly enough for me. But we got Gebi and Jao Victor is going to start centre back with him. Nori left back, Ruzik as the deep line playmaker on defend. Bellingham and Adley making that partnership just in front of him. Klaas and Mario is going to be on the right. Johnston on the left with Brian up top, keeping his goal scoring form up. Hopefully. With Mignolet, Lewington, Betford, Kaladi, Hill, Zaha and Adam Adamanser all on the bench. We need a win. Even if we get a draw this game, I believe we will go through. I just obviously don't want to draw like 3-3 or anything like that. But obviously a nice, a nice convincing win against Nice here at home would be lovely, in my opinion. Who's cap Livakovic is captain for the day. Pashley tell the boys I have faith in them as well. Nice early goal from Brian would be ideal. Obviously, you can see Galatasaray 2 0 up on, on Edgar. Um, the Dutch side, FC Gorgonen, are 2 0 up, and Florentina are now 4 0 up on Edgar. But Samore, it's Ruzik now, plays over to Adley. Ruzik, over to Adley again. Ruzik, who's played brilliant this year, Ruzik, and Adley, to be fair. Minimal game time compared to last year. Not a lot in the league, but in the Euro Cup, too, they've been brilliant. Klaus and Mario to Bellingham, he shoots and it's narrowly wide. He smashes that, but it is narrowly wide, unfortunately. Adley now to Samore. Keeps it on. Plays it back to Klaus and Mario. Did try to cross, but he got deflected to Adley. Back to Klaus and Mario. Over to the right back, Samore. Back to Klaus and Mario. Samore crosses it. Bellingham over the bar again. Should be 2 0 up, really. Bellingham should have bagged two for himself. As you can see, Nice have, a, like I said, a few rejects from. Uh, Premier League sides, you've got Xhaka, Calvert-Lewin, Lacazette, uh, Corona obviously played for Wolves in this save. Nori to Brian, back to Nori to Ruzik, plays it all the way over to Samore, goal, first goal of the year, that's why I started him, I knew he was going to do something big, I could feel it in my bones, that something big was coming from Samore this game, what a finish, what a goal. Brian just getting it back, playing it over to Nori. Look at that lovely little touch. Plays inside the Ruzik, who's dictating tempo a lot, lot more. And a volley, first time volley. A keeper, I don't know what he's doing there, but Samore with a great, great finish. Great goal. 1 0 to Palace. 3 2 on aggregate now. Jao Victor wins the header. Goes to Nori. It's Livakovic now. Probably should have played Mignolet, really, but Mignolet's played a lot more than I thought he would, so I need Livakovic to get his confidence back up, really. Adley to Ruzik, plays a great ball over the top to Brian. Can he be 2-0? No, it's a great, great save. Or was it a block? One of the two. It was brilliant, wherever it was. Half-time, though, we are 1-0 up with some more go. I'm very happy with how things are going. Keep it up. Leave it there. Send them back out. They're all happy. Ten shots, only three on target, though. It's very, very disappointing. Their keeper playing out to Bastos over to Troy. They're just patiently building up now. Wendell plays over to Artona. Cuts inside, beats two men. 
plays over to Gonzalo Zul by himself here. But if he does cut in again, he shoots and it's goal. It's 1 1. It's 3 3 on aggregate. That's poor defending. Poor, poor defending. I don't want to see it. I don't care. I don't give a toss. I'm going to to take Johnston off now. I'm actually going to move Bellingham up, even though he's not had the best games himself. And then I will put Hill as the advanced playmaker with Adley playing the Masala role. Just switch up the midfield a little bit. Some more right now. Throws it to Brian. He beats his man. Lovely bit of skill, I'm going to say there. Brian runs all the way. Kicks it wide. It's unfortunate. Now I'm going to take Bellin off because he's not performing well. And I'm going to bring Saha on to play left wing. Do I take Brian off? No, I think I'm going to keep Brian on. I'm going to take Nori off, but who do I take him off for? There's no one really, is there? I'm actually going to put Ruzik now at the left back position. I've put him there a few times this year and he has played well there as well. I'm going to bring Kaladi on as the deep, deep line playmaker. I think... Oh my god, look at that. They're free one. It's free free on that group there now. Jesus Christ. But I think we I think away goals do count, so I believe we will go into Oh well, they're gonna score now, ain't they? Drow Victor to Gonzalez gets it. Angoli, Bastos, Caladi now. Plays out of Samore. What's he gonna do? What you had so much time to turn and just get out. Oh my god, he hits it over. We're very, very lucky there. If away goals do count, though, I believe we're through. But we get a corner first. Hill crossing it in. Drow Victor to hit back to Hill. The Brazilians linking up. Cross it back in. Brian, it's over the bar. There's ten, ten. Well, there's no time left. Surely the whistle's got to go. The whistle's got to go, ref. We've played four minutes. It has gone. Final whistle. And we do go through on away goals. I'll take it. I'll take it all day long. Very nice victory. Well done. We will have the draw in this in here as well. Right, here are the draws. We're going to have the quarter-final draw be drawn and then the semi-finals, which I don't agree with. I believe we should probably just have like one, once you've played the games, that's when you find out you're playing. But Florentina will face Dundee. I'd like to face Hibs. I think that'd be the best shout, but we will be facing Galatasaray in the quarterfinals, away from home first. If we can get some goals. But we go to the semi-final now. I don't know what would be the best option here. Probably the non FC Nantes or the FC Groningen game. We won't get that. We'll get Florentina or Dundee. If we do go through, we have to go through against Galatasaray first. Where will this, when will this game be played? They're probably two games to come back for, aren't they? Probably the Arsenal Galatasaray games will be the two, but we've got obviously Huddersfield first, which is the, the game in hand. We take it a game at a time right now, boys. All right, here we go. We've got Huddersfield game. As you can see, in the recent form, we've had five draws in five, but then they have better form than us just because they have two wins, but then three losses in a row. We're currently sixth. Let's look at the table quickly, actually. Currently sick. We've only ever lost one game this whole year in the league. Goal difference is 20. We've conceded 21, which is like, I think it's the least amount of goals. Yeah, it's the least amount of goals being conceded. We have 41 goals. It's not that good when we're getting people in, not being funny, in 10th scoring more than us and nearly people in 15th scoring as many as us. But we're only two points off of fourth. With two, we're gaming in on them and two games in on Tottenham. I feel like fifth and sixth is realistic this year. But let's look in the lineup against Huddersfield, who are currently 14th. All right, here is the lineup for the game, though. We've got Livakovic in goal. We've got Wamp Saka coming back at right back. Gibby and Victor is going to be centre back together. Nori at left back. Bellingham on the right. Kaladi and Adley in the centre mid positions. Johnston on the left. Carson, Mario, and Brian at, up front. Mignole, Samore, Schmalls. Ruzik, Hill, Zaha and Pellegrini all on the bench. I feel like next year could bring a diamond formation in. Maybe take have a system that don't have the wingers. Because some of the wingers have been poor this year. Or even maybe just get new wingers. But to be fair, Freddie Church, he got injured. He should be back soon-ish. But he got injured and he, I think he's going to still be my starting like, right winger. 
but maybe a new left winger would suit us best really but I don't know who there is to play left wing Shervy now Hardest we're trying to counter but Kennedy doesn't get the ball Rabadi Haps plays back but Klaus Mario does intercept can he score got to cut it back to Brian and it's saved by Butland using the gagging press system again hopefully just put pressure on them so they have mistakes like that where it was to Klaus and Mario and just put pressure on us two strikers we have a fantastic I think a lot the other like you've got Bo and obviously Pedigree who don't really get a look in anymore because our two strikers are just so 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 good and then they just Stuff like this gets created from the midfield and then it's goal like that. 16 goals this year and he's had about five weeks off with injuries. And then you've got Brian who's got 23 or 24 or something like that. Look, you've just got midfielders like Adley who's not even our best centre midfielders just playing over the top of the class of Mario and he just slots it away. I've got strikers who can finish it one-on-one -on -one now. It's lovely. See, so again, with the system, I thought Johnston was turning a new leaf and I thought he was going to be a lot, lot better than what he has been. But he hasn't been good. In, to be totally honest, he has not been good. So really, for him to be left wing still, like he, he started, he, he started off the season brilliantly, and then I think he got injured, and it just didn't work out for him. Brian plays it through the class American, it'd be two 0 No, Butler does save again, a very good save. And if I do go for the like the diamond system, it just all depends who goes into that attacking midfielder role, really, because I think. I usually obviously play a Masala or an advanced playmaker, but I don't know if to go for the deep line playmaker or maybe more of an anchor man at the holding midfielder and then move Kaladi up. But then I want Bellingham to not be the attacking midfielder role. I want him to be the centre mid to make out the space out wide with like Adley, for example. I don't know. I have to try and just do different systems and see what it's about. It looks like we are going to go in 1 0 up at half time. We have been the better team, had the better chances, passionately tell them I'm happy with performance, keep it up. Obviously we'd like a win, we've drawn a lot, a lot of games. And obviously teams like Man United and Chelsea, who are drawing right now, would be a great time to capitalise and just get a win and try and get get above them. But Wam Saka to Kaladi to Gibby, Livakovic now, plays in a victor. What a signing that was, by the way. 20 million for someone who's gonna, he's just gonna be brilliant. He's the best defender we have at the club at the moment, apparently. I, I was thinking of playing him right back, but wan is good, to be fair. But he, there we go, it's 2-0 as well. Klaus Amara getting his seventh from goal of the year, second of the game. Is it offside? It's not offside. No, it's not offside. The liner didn't move, so I got a bit worried. Look at that. Another is that another ball another long ball over the top to Adley. Carson Mario just touches it out with his feet and he just slots it away with his right foot. Great goal. But Adley getting the ball again. Plays it over to Classy Mario. Class Mario gets his hat trick. Can Adley get a hat trick of assist? No, Butland does save. He saved a few clear cut chances here, Butland. It could easily be probably four, five nil if it weren't for him. That's what I mean. Johnston playing a six point five rating as that's just poor. And I am going to put Ruzik as the left wing. Again, he's played there a few times this year and he has performed decently. I am going to take Brian off actually because he's not really doing anything. I'm going to bring Pellegrini on. He hasn't played in a while. And I'm going to take Bellingham off as well and put Zaha on the right. Going for a bit more experience now. I've got a very, very young side here. This, is, this Palace side is going to be here for years and years to come. It is a corner Ruzik does take and it's a goal Kaladi. Again, he's only second goal of the year this time. Played a lot less than he did last year, to be fair, though, I'm pretty sure. Especially in the league, I found. So it's lovely cross. Straight ahead of the bottom corner, great finish, goal. Game set and match, 3-0 to Palace. Love to see it. It's a highlight straight off, straight for kickoff, though. Chamberlain to Brooks. Haps. Can we take it and get maybe a fourth? Chamberlain to Burby. Chamberlain. Basila. Chamberlain. Over the top, but Wam Saka does cut it out. Klaus and Mario now gets it. Pellegrini, he's one on one. Can he make it 4 0? He doesn't, but then does save and tips it over the bar. Throwing for us, Nori to Adley. Over to Kaladi. Back to, all the way back to Victor, who plays it all the way further back to Livakovic now. Plays it into Kaladi. Over to Ruzik. Can he cross it? Deflects over to Adley. I'm not going to be able to say that guy's name, I'm not going to lie to you. 
probably not his either. Shift boss. <laughs> oh, we have a Chamberlain now. Fargas. Chamberlain. Haps. Will he cross it? No, he plays it in the Vargas. Chamberlain, who all by himself, shoots way over the bar. I think that's the first highlight, really. Butland. Over to Vargas. Gets past Star Harbor V's. Kennedy does try to tackle, but gets it to Chamberlain. Shabofs. Victor does beat him in the air. Chamberlain now. Huddersfield just playing it around the edge. Game's done, to be fair. Livakovic all the way up to Pellegrini. What can he do? Can't do anything, really. Shabof. But Nori does cut it out. He does play a hospital pass to Victor, and it's, it is 3 1. 3 1 just before added time. That's a hospital pass from Nori, though. The left side is our weaker side, in my opinion. Look, look it's a terrible pass. Or was Victor not caught on guard? And then Liverpool fell over. Yes, Jeremy just fell over. Good finish, but he's fell over. Now the 94th minute, game set and match. They scored in the 90th minute. It would have been lovely to keep with a clean sheet, but we've not allowed nice things. Very happy with the performance. That, see, that puts us up to fifth with a game in hand, which will take us to 61 points. So hopefully if City lose. But obviously, like I said earlier, I think next time we meet will be the Galatasaray and Arsenal games. I think that'll be the best two games. So obviously I'm going to play the first leg off camera. Most of the games now will be the second leg and the game afterwards if we do obviously get further. And then the final, but obviously, you know what, you know what it is. But we've got silverware this year. Hopefully we can make it a double with the Euro Cup 2 and hopefully we can get it maybe in the Champions League but I'll take Europa League to be totally honest with you but thank you for watching today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you could share this video it would be very much appreciated and I'll see you all later